The question concerns three different ways to increase the final momentum of a golf ball and whether or not they are correct. First of all, we should understand that the change in momentum, if it goes up, will increase the final momentum. And the change in momentum is equal to impulse, which is equal to the force applied to the object times the time that the force is applied to the object. Now that we have our initial information laid out, let's look at all three answer choices. A says not change the speed of the golf club after the collision. This is correct because in order for the statement to work, we need to apply a greater force initially to the golf ball. This is because, for example, as you slap a body of water, notice how your hand moves slower. By increasing the initial force, we can prevent the counteracting force from slowing down the golf club. Again, this would increase the amount of applied force. B states increase the force acting on it. This is true because impulse is equal to force times time. So by increasing the force, we increase the impulse. And since impulse is equal to change in momentum, we would increase the change in momentum as well. So B is correct. Now we could for sure say that D is the correct answer, but allow me to prove C as well. C says to increase the time of contact between the club and the ball. This is correct because impulse is equal to force times time. Just like B, but instead of increasing force, we are now increasing time. This increases impulse, which because impulse is equal to change in momentum, increases the final momentum. Again, D is the correct answer.